For some of us, transporting cargo is a daily routine. When you've done the job so many times, it's easy to load up and head out without giving things too much thought. For those of us who are new to the job, it can be easy to adopt that habit from those who train us. They've been in the business for years. They know the shortcuts. We follow their lead. But imagine this scenario. You're transporting cargo when you need to make a turn at an intersection. As you pull into the turn, everything is going well until you notice in your side view mirror that your load has started to slide. Before you even have time to hit the brakes, the sea can you were transporting has slid completely off your deck. It skids on the pavement and slams into the side of a car going the other direction. As you stop your truck and people flock to the scene, what's going through your head? Is anyone hurt? Will I lose my job? Will I lose my license? How much is this going to cost? Incidents caused by improper cargo securement are always serious. They can result in loss of life, loss of load, damage to the freight, damage to the company's image, and destabilized vehicles. To help prevent these incidents from occurring, the National Safety Code Standard 10, also known as the North American Cargo Securement Standard, was created. It sets out legislative and regulatory framework policies for cargo securement applicable to vehicles over 4,500 kilograms or 9,921 pounds operating on highways. Its main goal is to ensure that cargo and other loads are firmly and adequately secured so that they don't make the vehicle unstable and don't fall or hit other vehicles or road users. This course will instruct you on how to follow the North American Cargo Securement Standard to help prevent incidents like that from happening to you. By the end of this course, you should be able to explain why the North American Cargo Securement Standard was developed and how it's maintained, define cargo, identify and define different types of securement devices, outline the standard's general performance criteria, recognize what to look for during an inspection, and how often inspections should be done. Outline cargo securement system requirements for tie-downs, working load limits, minimum strength requirements, cargo placement, and front-end structures, and recognize exemptions to the standard. Information in the course will be presented in five chapters. Chapter 1, the North American Cargo Securement Standard. Chapter 2, Cargo and Securement Devices. Chapter 3, General Performance Criteria. Chapter 4, Cargo Securement System Requirements, and Chapter 5, Exemptions and Specific Cargo Types. Let's begin.